Welcome to Electron Online. Now let's look at the special and general rules of addition when it comes to mutually exclusive and not mutually exclusive events. So when events are not mutually exclusive, that means there's some overlap between the two events, then when we look for the probability of A or B that is equal to the probability of A plus the probability of B minus the probability of A and B. And the probability of A and B really represents the overlap between the two events. So when we look at the diagram here, the Venn diagram, notice that A is event A, this is event B, and notice there's some overlap. So when we take all the representation of event A, and we take all the representation of event B, then where they overlap, we're actually counting a double. It's like double dipping. And so we want to subtract that, and this is what we're doing when we're subtracting that portion. So we don't count the where they overlap twice. But if the events are mutually exclusive, then there's no overlap, so we don't have that additional term because that term goes to zero, and therefore it's simply the probability of A plus the probability of B. So this is called the general rule of addition. This is called the special rule of addition. And then, of course, if there's multiple mutually exclusive events, like in this example, four of them, A, B, C, or D, then if we want to find the probability of A or B or C or D, again, we simply add the probabilities of each individual event, and then we don't have to worry about any overlap, so we don't have to have a subtraction term. So again, this is the general rule that works in all cases. In all cases, even if it's mutually exclusive, we realize that this simply goes to zero, and we end up with the special case. And that is how it's done.